my channel. It's me, Shanice, here with another video, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming back. I love you guys. Y'all been, you know, amazing. Today, we will be creating this blue look. Um, I really loved it. I thought it was very fun. We are using the crayon case, um, box of crayons palette, and the matte book to create this look. And this lip is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color 90 Huntress, which I thought was super pretty. I'm actually getting ready to do a review of all of these. I don't know which video will be up first, but I just really hope that you guys enjoy this look. Thank you again for coming back and for being here. Now, before we get into the look, I do want to go ahead and remind you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. This is the emoji that we're going to go with today. So please leave this emoji down below if you're rocking with the video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And also, of course, you cannot forget to, don't forget to ring a the bell. Ring the bell. We just smooth. Ring the bell. I love the ring the bell song. I don't know if you guys do, but I love doing it. <laughs> Do not forget to ring the bell. All right, loveies, let's go ahead and get into this look and thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye. All right, loveies, let's go ahead and jump right in. And I'm here with my bare skin, nice and clean. And I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize. I love moisturizing like right when I get out of the shower. It just feels great. And I'm using my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer. And if you're wondering what I do my brows with, this is what I do my brows with. It's just the e.l.f. Dip Brow Pomade and then just a little spoolie brush. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids with my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk. As y'all know, I love this. I think it's an oldie but a goodie, but it works great. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to just blend that out all over the lid. And once you've got that on, I'm gonna go ahead and set the outside corners of my eyes with some tape, just so that way I can have a little added assistance for the shape of this look. Now we're gonna go ahead and dip right into the matte book by the Crayon Case. And we're gonna start with that um, brown shade and just put it all over the lid, um, just into the crease, just as like a base color. Um, we're just gonna take like a big fluffy brush and just kind of pack that in there. And I dipped into that color several times on both eyes, but we're just really just packing that into the lid right there and into the crease. Alrighty, and next we're gonna go ahead and do that deepish bluish shade, and we're gonna just pack that on top of the brown shade and pack it into our crease using just a flat shader brush that's kind of thick and just packing it right in there. Do not be afraid, like I said before, to dip in several times. And then as you can see, I'm also establishing the kind of shape that I want. Just taking my time, pressing that in, pack, 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 packing that on. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing on both eyes. And I'm gonna go into that purple shade there and I'm just gonna blend that in the outside corners um, just to deepen it and give the look some depth. And then I'm gonna also blend that above that blue shade just to blend out any sharp or harsh edges and kind of give it a gradient effect. But I'm being very careful not to go too far up the lid as I want it to be like kind of a controlled look right there, um, kind of a cat eye controlled kind of vibe there. <laughs> so I'm being very careful as to where I blend out. And I'm doing the same thing there, like I said, packing onto that outer corner just to give it some depth and then blending that above that blue shade there. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. Now, as I've said in my previous videos, girl, this is a skill, you know, it's a learn as you go type of skill, but I'm just using my concealer just to kind of cut across the lid and carve out where I want that cut crease to go. Um, I'm gonna do a blue look with this, so I really wanted to do that cut crease to kind of make the shadows pop. Um, but just take your time and carve out the shape that works best for you. And I'm going back into that purple shade just to kind of blend out any harsh edges surrounding that cut crease. As I think I said before in another video, you always want to blend, no matter what. Even if it's a cut crease, you want to blend, 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 blend. Now I'm taking that blue shade right there and I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that in, focusing it really on the outside corners and then blending it just above where I put that um, cut crease concealer. Again, just to kind of add to that gradient effect and give it a little bit more depth around the crease. 
And next we're going into our box of crayons palette and we're going to go into that shade called blue there and we're going to go ahead and lay that on our concealer where we've done our cut crease. And at first it was kind of tough to work with the shade. I didn't know what was wrong with it but as you'll see in this next clip I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush and then dip back into that blue shade and I got it to really dance for me. I mean it really just made that blue shade pop so I would definitely recommend um, having a wet brush when you're going into some of these shimmer shades that are in the box of crayons palette because baby it definitely worked out for me and now I'm just going onto the other eye again remembering to wet my brush up front and laying that blue shimmer shade down which is so pretty I loved how that looked and here I'm just flipping my brush to the other side wetting it and going into that shade called baby blue in the box of crayons palette and laying that in the front third of our eye um, as opposed to the outer two thirds where we put the dark blue, I'm putting that in the first third and just blending that into the dark blue and creating a really nice gradient effect. Girl, I was like, okay, I'm popping here. I was really just kind of surprised <laughs> with how it all turned out um, and how the colors were blending together. So I really love how that looks there. We're going to go back into that blue shade into the matte book and we're just going to blend that in the outer corner deepening the outer V and then blending above where we place that concealer just to, again to ensure we're having a really beautiful gradient effect. We don't need any harsh lines, nothing clappable, nothing detectable and remember ladies you can never blend too much. So I'm just taking that blue shade and just blending, 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 making sure that everything is seamless, buttery and smooth okay that's what we're going for ladies and now I'm just going to take off my tape and you can see the shape that that tape has um, helped to create there and I'm going to go in with my LA color um, liquid eyeliner in black and I'm just dragging that across the lid I'm just doing a baby wing nothing super serious here I really want the lashes to kind of do the talking and the shadow to do the talking as far as the eye but for me you know an eye is not complete without a liner so I have to do my liner and next I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes here. Um, I'll put the lashes on the screen, which ones I used. And as you can see, I've completed my eye look. And I'm going to go ahead and do my face off camera. And bow! Hey girl, hey! <laughs> this is my finished look today. I'll have all the products down below. I really hope that you love these enjoyed this look. I'm going to give you a little slow-mo action. Hey girl, how you do? How you do? Lovies, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!